on guys also nature once again bringing you guys another wonderful video today now with all these hit games that's coming out this holiday season like the new call of duty and the new destiny and all that i know you're probably saying like yeah i can't wait to get these games i'm gonna be a beast at i'm gonna be a boss no one can't touch me and all that then you look at your old xbox controller it might have a lot of scuff marks on it a lot of scratches certain buttons might not work the analog stick might have that permanent gangsaline Anyways, you get to the conclusion that it might be time for a brand new controller. And if you're like me, you might be saying something like, you know, you want something new, something different, a nice upgrade, which leads us here. Now, these are like the top two pro style controllers that people use nowadays. Majority of my clan members either have a scuff or they have an elite style controller. Some own both. Now these pro style controllers can give you a very sweet advantage in your game, but keep in mind, the controllers alone will not turn you into a pro style gamer. And I have to say that because a lot of people come up to me saying, you know, you're only good because you use a scuff. Not true, not true at all. It does help, but you must have a certain set of skill already established before using one of these controllers before you can take it to the next level. Basically, if you're nice with a basic style controller, then using a pro style controller will only boost that up and make you even better. Anyways, the whole point of this video basically is to show you guys just, you know, what the scuff can offer, what the elite controller can offer. Basically, what my opinion is at the end of the day of which one I would choose and why I would choose it. But before we get to that, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about both controllers. You know what I like about which one, what I don't like about which one, tell you the pros and cons, all the goods, all the bads, basically, and why I chose which one that I chose. And hopefully after watching this video, I can help you decide on which controller that you want to get based off my experience and what I know. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, in order to make this video as unbiased as possible, I'm going to be breaking these controllers down on three major key points of what I like and what I don't like and see how they fare in those categories. So we're going to be testing for reliability slash durability. We're going to be testing for ease of use and comfort. And the last one's going to be affordability because I think that's very important above all else of what you're basically paying for if you're getting what you're paying for and all that. So it's going to be a very, very big key factor in the decision making process and all that so let's get it going so starting off first with the reliability and durability we have the elite controller up first so far as being reliable i can tell you i got this xbox controller when the xbox elite first came out last year it's coming up on november soon so it's going to be a year since i had the controller and i haven't had any problem with this controller nothing broke it was very reliable and it definitely came through it was durable like i dropped it a couple of times never no issues never no serious problems at all with this controller so i definitely give it an a plus for our durability and reliability now moving on to the scuff now as far as reliability and durability I cannot give it an A at all. I must give it a C plus. The reason why I give it a C plus is because the analog six when I first got my scuff controller lasted about a good month. After that, they start wearing off and tearing. Now for me, basically, I spent well over $200 for this controller right here. So I'm expecting, you know, the price to be reflecting in the quality. At least that's what I was hoping for. So I was very disappointed once I seen that the thumbsticks were wearing off that soon when I just got the controller. That really got me like very, very upset. That's actually kind of funny because I was so mad that I tweeted out the scuff complaining on you know, like a fiery tirade about how mad I was about the controller analog sticks messing up. And they sent me one out, a new replacement free of charge. So I actually just put these on today just for this video. And I'm going to see how long they last and hopefully they last a lot longer than the previous ones. Um, also, I know scuff's not really too uh, popular with having reliable paddles but i can definitely tell you so far the paddles have been working very fine i mean i use them with no issues at all they click nice and i mean they perform well so i can give it definitely a good grade for the paddles but an overall grade definitely is gonna be a c plus just because the thumbsticks were out and that's something that you use the most like you know on your controller if you play call of duty or any type of game where you gotta use your thumbsticks a lot you need these to be there and to be dependable and work for you you don't have time for to be wearing off all right so the next category is going to be ease of use and comfort now everyone knows nothing's more important than having a comfortable controller because you're gonna spend a lot of time playing your game. The last thing you wanna do is have a controller that's uncomfortable for your hands, gonna have you like, you know, your hands all cramped up or sweaty or whatever the case is. Now the Elite controller doesn't really come with any special type of grips on it, any type of special, you know, things or whatever on it to make it more comfortable, but it has a very good feel to it. I mean, it doesn't really feel too, too crazy. It feels kind of soft in a way. So, I mean, me using the controller, like I said, I never really had any issues to where my hand felt cramped or it was uncomfortable, nothing like that. So, while it doesn't have any noticeable, like, you know, fixed style grip material on it, it still feels very comfortable even without no special grips on it. And to me, that's good enough for me. Now, when we talk about ease of use, I do have some concerns with this controller that definitely, you know, was a uh, turning point for me. The biggest issue that I kind of had with this controller was basically the paddles. The paddles for me sometimes will come off kind of easily. You gotta understand this is a magnetic style uh, connection to the paddle. So if you like 
put the controller down too hard or if you sit on your lap sometimes the paddles might come off and that might activate a button on your controller for your game that you probably don't want to do it might start a match but you shouldn't start a match or it might make you shoot when you don't want to shoot basically that coming off at the wrong times is a big deal and that's probably like one of the biggest issues i had with the elite style controller so far as ease of use i'll definitely give this a nice d plus so moving on to the scuff for ease of use i would definitely say it's very very easy to use all the buttons press very nicely the paddles which is you know the most important thing on the controller i would say definitely press very well um unlike the elite controller they don't really come off like that unless you get the special like uh scuff uh, edition controller we can take these off whatever and all that but other than that they won't come off by you hitting them like they're going to stay on you can put the controller down if you want it will never come off and that's what i like so that was definitely a big big plus and i definitely give it an eight on that category just because of how reliable and how easy the buttons are to use and work all right and last but not least is affordability now starting with the elite controller this is going to run you 149 dollars 99 i mean for the features and what it can do i would definitely say that's a very very good deal i mean it has a lot of features on it it has built-in trigger stops as you can see it has the paddles you can take off the analog sticks if you need to they, those come off very easily swap them around take the d-pad off so, I mean, a lot of features for $150, plus it's very reliable, like I said. I mean, this thing is rock solid. I would definitely say the price is definitely worth it, and I would definitely give it an A-plus in price. Then we move on to the scuff. Now, everyone knows scuff controllers are not cheap by any means. Not cheap at all. But the thing about scuff controllers are, like, you kind of pay more for the controller because you can customize them a little bit better. You can put certain graphic designs on you want. You see, I like the money symbol on mine pretty much. And there's other features you can add to it all. You can get your name carved on it if you want. A lot of different things you can definitely do with the scuff controller. A little bit more options than the Elite controller. So I can understand why the price might reflect that in a way. Now, scuff do have some pretty base models that start at the 150 range. I think they have some that's even lower if you don't get that many features on it. So you can actually make it cheaper than Elite controller or way more expensive depending basically on what you want to get on your controller and your personal preference. So for this, I'll also give it an A+. Plus. But the only thing I don't like is that it can racket your price up super, super high if you go crazy with the options. But... I mean, if you go higher with the options, that's what you expect, and that's just what you're going to get. So it is what it is. So after reviewing both controllers, I'll come to the conclusion of which controller I would choose over both of these. And the one that I would definitely choose as my clear winner is indeed my scuff. Now, the main reason why I chose a scuff controller over the Elite controller is because of the paddles, like I said before. The fact that these paddles come off so easily with little effort at all, to me, was a very, very big deal breaker. Like I said, I don't want to be playing a match and I put my controller down and I accidentally hit the wrong button or something and make it shoot or whatever or do something where I don't want it to because it's so easily pressed and they come off so easily. It's just not a good look for me. It's not a good look and that's something I really don't need at all happening. And also with the Elite controller, it lacks the ability to customize, you know, design how you want. You really can't customize it. It's kind of like a one set color. Now, meanwhile, on the scuff, I definitely give this a clear winner, like I said, because of the paddles are a big issue paddles are a very very big issue i mean like i said no disrespect to the elite controller but if you guys watch nade shop's review on the elite controller he basically said his own self that he didn't like the elite controller because you know the paddles come off pretty easily they're not really that sturdy and he said that before the controller even came out so microsoft had time to fix that issue but they kind of didn't want to i guess they didn't so they released a the controller like that in that formation and with me experiencing uh that control like that i didn't like it so i mean it is what it is man it's definitely obvious so back to our winner now i do know this scuff is not as durable i mean you know the parts on it, as far as the analog six and whatnot kind of is a bummer they're only a few bucks to get replaced and hopefully you know it will last a little longer or they will you know consider upgrading their thumbstick to make them more reliable you know and more durable because that's definitely a key thing but overall, I will still use this controller over the Elite. Like I said, the paddles are a very, very big deal. I mean, it was so big, basically, that it was my decision maker, pretty much. And the fact that I can customize my design on the tough controller to how I want it. I mean, they have a good selection of different designs you can use for it. I definitely think that's a dope thing, pretty much. You know, you can, like, you know, mix and match your analog to colors. You can do so much customization with the scuff controller. You know, you got to think about it. You're going to use your controller a lot, you know, every day if you can. So you definitely going to want to make sure that you're spending your money on something that you really, really enjoy. Make sure it looks nice and all that. I got a lot of confidence on my controller. So, you know, definitely I would say it's money well spent. So hopefully I shed some light on both of these style controllers for you guys to help you make your decision on which controller you should get. Anyways, that's going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please slap a thumbs up like. I will greatly appreciate that. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure you subscribe to me to get the latest videos as soon as they come out. But thank you guys all for watching. Take it easy. And as always, have a good day. And.